This is what I noticed about cultures in the world. Is that, uh, lots of people in Canada can't hear you unless you're wearing earphones. Just kidding, that's just a joke about this computer is, um, you guys can't hear me unless I use these earphones because the microphone isn't very good, but, uh, uh, like for instance, I got circumcised, right, as a woman, they removed my udder and gave me like a cleft, which usually happens when you're really young, and a cultural thing in Germany is, because I have a good German granddad, you can sleep with really young girls if you have permission from the parents, pretty much any age of girl, really, they say 14 is the legal age, but... They just fake the age. But what I was going to talk about was, is that uh, the way people are referencing what happened. And like, for instance, a German man would be like, she's had a removal circumcision. Like, they just be literal about it. And uh, the English would be like, oh, she's a little bit lighter down in the region of blows. Something weird like that and sexy sounding. But uh, First Nations are like a little bit of a breeze. You sound kind of Irish. That's why when I'm trying to fake a First Nation accent I sound Irish or something. They like make jokes about it or something. They're not like making an analogy or trying to explain something in a different way. They're like, oh, like, how about we check out what's missing? Like, and something like that, like insinuating they already want to have sex with you or something. Anyways, I'll change the topic because I'm not good at jokes. It's like a First Nation y thing, like not being good at jokes, which is what I was thinking about last night when I was like sleeping or something is they like say it in a certain way and act out the joke almost with their body language to make it seem funny like they're like oh he really kicked the bucket and it's not like that great a joke like somebody died or something like they're like he was kicking pretty good and then the bucket got in the way broke his toe and like isn't around anymore you know what I mean? Like more sex jokes. Like, took it hard to the keister. I say keister a lot. I noticed too. Not necessarily to me, but like, I just hear it when I'm like out and about on the street and stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty hardcore. Like, I hit the street. Is yeah, these are not natural colorations of darkness on my arms. That's why they're like getting darker in front of you as we're talking. Um, I just woke up with them. Yeah, it's like a thing that I think just thought about Little Peep where he said he, he got like the tattoos on his forehead or something. Like I saw him talking about his tattoos and he was like, after a rough night of partying, I just like woke up with these head tattoos. Like, that's kind of what happened to me. All I remember is like falling in a lake. And then, like, being cold, obviously. Just use the word. And then I was, like, on East Hastings getting a tattoo. I was like, wow, did I, like, float here or something? <laughs> Get it? Like, butt balloons? They float in the water for poop sakes. I don't want to talk too much about drugs, but... This has been a stand-up comedian roller coaster. Oh man, I've been talking for almost five minutes now. <laughs>